Jason Buckner here from Automation Made Easy. Now, I've got a little bit of a problem. And the problem is, uh, I see, I've, I've worked with many, many businesses, okay? That's not my problem. But I see this consistent failure, if you like, or consistent problem that some of my customers are having that I have to alert you to, okay? Because you're probably doing it as well. You know, it doesn't matter if you're starting a an opt-in campaign where you're trying to give away something for free. It doesn't matter if you're doing a webinar campaign where you're trying to get people to register for your webinar. It doesn't matter even if you're trying to sell something, marketing to sell something. People are not making the most of the thank you page, okay? The, the thank you page is about delivering the gift, but people are much, much, much more likely, <laughs> excuse uh, Amos, uh, the dog down here is squeaking his new toy, but people are much, much, much more likely to take the next step of action when they've received what it is that they've opted in for. So if they get to the thank you page, step one would be to put in the details of the webinar or download the book or, you know, receive the free gift or something like that. Step two, everybody misses the step two, but what is our call to action? What's the ultimate goal of our campaign? What do we want people to do? And we need to put that on the thank you page. I can't stress this enough. We have to make sure on our thank you page, when someone opts in for something, whether it be free event, whether it be webinar, whether it be book, whether it be anything, on that thank you page, call to action for the next step. Where do we want them to go? And that's absolutely the first place we need to be advertising that. Anyway, enough of my rant. I want to see you doing that in your marketing as well, so you get the best you can possibly get. Super important.